Hey there guys, and welcome back for more Civilization 5. Uh, this is episode 7 now, actually, this time. As opposed to last episode, when I said, This is episode- Thanks for watching episode 7! No, this is- this is actually episode 7, that was episode 6. I just am bad at maths. That's- that's my only explanation for that one. I mean, I haven't really got any better reasoning. You guys are just gonna have to take, <laughs> take my word on that. But, I mean, yeah, without any further ado, let's get back on with it. Pretty much. I don't want to hold you guys up in your busy daily lives. I saw something going up there. I saw something. I did see it. Yes, I did. All I know is my archaeologist is going to get there in a second. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah, we can have open borders. You can have my culture faster. Yeah. Oh, not quite. One more. So I'll get this archaeology bit. And I'll get another culture policy. We can all be happy. Happy days. Right, let's figure this one out. Cause I'd quite like to purchase the factory, but that ain't gonna happen no time soon. Let's be perfectly straight on that one. I am going to purchase a lighthouse and I'm going to wait two turns and I'm going to buy a granary and I'm going to make lods and grow because it's small too small to be practical right now I don't like that I want it to be an actual decent size otherwise it's going to be no good to me really so I don't, I'm not going to get much out of it Now, I wouldn't have built a third city unless I wanted to get stuff out of it. It's kind of the nature of building another city, if you're a small culture slash tourism oriented state. Let's organise it by level again, because the game just hadn't reorganised it by level. Arabia really don't make much culture to fight me, do they? Pretty weak site. Hell yeah! Yeah, more happiness is useful, I guess. I haven't really built many of those buildings that you get happiness for there. But nonetheless. Because I want to get that. That landmark set up as well. Or just get that artifact. I want to move that touristy bit. The archaeology. Get that sword. That seems sensible to me. I don't know if it seems sensible to you guys, but I'm the one playing. So. It seems sensible to me, so I'm going to do it. Yep. You can have, you can have my tourism, yeah. We can we can be pals, Sweden. Sure. Then Zulu was like, "Don't fuck with me, son." I'm like, 
I don't know what you're talking about. Couldn't possibly see how you not having a world wonder means that I'm better than you are. Hmm? But it, it does mean I'm better than him. Because... I have World Wonders and he doesn't, he, he's just jelly, especially because I'm going to exploit my position as head of the council to, you know, push that one through. So how long was this whole construction and it takes like 10 turns, right, fair enough. No, and it sounded like he said fuck at the end there. Yeah, it takes 10 turns to do it, which I didn't know, because I didn't understand how the, how the new archaeology thing worked. It's, it's news to me that's how it works, I didn't know necessarily off the top of, the he off the top of my head that that's how it worked. Because obviously, if you guys still remember, this is still my first Brave New World game. The game's been out for like... A while now. A couple of weeks. But I still haven't finished this game in recordings. To then play it casually on my own. But nonetheless... Now, now, now we understand that's how archaeology works. I understand that's how archaeology works. You guys that are watching probably already knew that from one, in one way or another. Um, yeah. Now, now I know. So now some of you will know if you a watch this far into the video because I look at analytics. I'm not. I'm not blind. Assuming that's correct or not, because I don't assume anything with YouTube. And yeah. All that jazz. If you haven't, if you didn't already know that. You just wait till my European Universalis 4 videos and then then we'll see. Then we'll see all the I've got no fucking clues, I'm gonna discover on the job videos. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I think I need a constabulary there. I haven't got spies held back in my cities to defend my cities from spies. No. Fuck off, you just want my gold. You just want me to not have any gold. Um. Yeah, I haven't got any spies held back, so I could do with protecting myself a bit better. Luckily, people apparently haven't spied on me to steal my shit, which I'm relieved by. No, I saw the fucking list on the side. I didn't even need to like read what the list was. I saw, I saw very clearly that that was not in my favour because I'm not that blind. No. 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 Someone else has built a world wonder. Yeah, I can deal with losing a Fitzy. I thought I was going to lose it anyway. I thought I was going to lose it to Venice, I think. I forget off the top of my head. It was in the last episode. But I know I was going to lose it, so that's why I started working on something no one else could have anyway. Cause fuck it! I think I could actually do with an aqueduct more in Lods, because an aqueduct holds the growth that you get each turn, so you can sustain it faster, if that makes any sense to anyone at all. Like, I think the fact that I have 40% growth, I have 40% food retained as you level up, is a better mechanism for speeding up growth than just having a higher level of food in the city. Because it's not like I'm lacking in food in the city. That's not that's not a problem, really. It's just making sure you've got enough like recycle through to speed up the process of each level up. Cause I'm really bad at explaining what I'm trying to express there. Ooh. 
Ooh, a great artist. Hell yeah! More tourism. Not really caring about the fact that I need to save space for archaeological works. I don't want that portrait. I never liked that portrait. I had to look at it enough in history. When I did, I did the Tudors in history at one point at school. So I know more than enough about Elizabeth I, as I'll probably end up trying to show off in European Universalis Four. But no, I never particularly liked this portrait. In all honesty, and I can probably tell you half the sort of like the subversive, subliminal meanings and messages and small images in there. Because I'll be damned if we didn't have to study paintings about Elizabeth I. To examine her court of personality. Because it ain't truly a history course until you've studied art about people. Oh look, it's grown. That's good. It's handy. Yep, you can run right back off. Right back off. I am indeed sure. I'm not sure why you're double checking if I'm sure, but I guess... And again, I guess there is some merit to that in case you click on the wrong city and then you're stuck. Like trading with that city for the next however many turns. Because I haven't been paying attention well enough to establish how many turns you send a trade caravan off for. Because that would involve actually being sensible and paying attention. And I haven't been doing those things, maybe? That's nice, Brazil. Don't don't speak to me, just tell me that you're friends with someone. So, I, so it's good that I'm friends with them as well. That is what I needed to- that is definitely what I NEEDED to hear. Sweet. That's another great person. Another great artist person. Hell yeah, I'll create great work, because that's writing anyway. The hottest places in hell are reserved for those who, in times of great moral crisis, maintain their neutrality. Yeah, you hear that, Switzerland? You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Spain as well. You guys, you guys hear that? Hmm. Yeah, take note. No, I'm just messing. I'm going to stop making jokes about the war. Ooh, still eight turns. No, they've only got five turns left. And I, I mean, I guess they're in the forest, slightly outside my empire. But nonetheless, they should stop taking so long. It's annoying. Annoying. Yeah, five, five food back to Warsaw still sounds good to me. That still sounds sensible. I was I was lost in thought for a second. Just 
general relief while it was silent for a few minutes. Like, it was probably only silent for like a minute, but... I got lost in thought and such... Like you do. Ooh, we're nearly hitting having an ideology. Because I've been keeping careful track of when that one happens. It happens when you hit the modern era, i.e. in three turns. Oh man, Sweden Sweden lost their capital. They're in fights with someone. That means shit went badly. Also Portugal are just pestering me with their like people. Trying to get all uh, trying to get all up in my grill. It's funny because yeah they they just put 150 tourism in my land. But they make two tourism a turn, and even with plus fifty percent between us, they only add three. But I've got like fifteen thousand nine hundred forty-one culture, so they're not even denting me, like at all, in the slightest. That doesn't even begin to affect my like, what you'd need to begin to have touristic influences over me. Because that's my new word, touristic. But yeah, like they aren't, they aren't close to being there yet. And I don't think they ever will be. Because I have a lot of culture and I got a lot of tourism. So I'm probably going to wield tourism over people. Before anyone else is going to start having any influence over me, really. No thanks, I don't want to go and declare war on everyone. Just because you've now made peace with the Swedish, so you can go and have a war with other people, that doesn't mean I want to do it with you. It's like, people stop doing things with your Iroquois, because they just keep getting more and more crazy and powerful. No, no one, no one wants that. Stop it. Stop, stop building all the wonders in your cities and stop making all the research agreements so you can try and catch up with me. And that you're not going to. You will fail. You will fail. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. I'm not gonna say go over it because I'm I'm too much of a nice guy to do that. I'm just gonna say we're sorry it's caused a divide between us, but no, fuck you. You're not in my gold. No. Sweden has denounced the Zulus because they made peace with them and then they lost the after they lost their capital, so they basically had to do it. But I told you for a fact that they're not gonna like each other. A nice quote. Now we get loads of culture things. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. We get a lovely uh, Roosevelt quote. I got a free policy because I forgot that's what the game. I forgot that's what my civilization does because that's how long we've been in this. Yeah, I basically, I basically only picked that social policy route because I needed the Louvre. Wasn't that I wanted anything in that social policy route? It's not a social policy route for me. It's all like naval trade and exploration. I don't really want that. It was just prudent as his decision. Yeah, probably should have researched deal at one point. There is part of me that thinks mm, that could have been useful.
let's let's get up to steam power. Whoa, it's not really gonna do me anything. Let's let's research let's research railroads, cause that'll get me somewhere. More diplomats, no defensive spies, fuck it. Um Yeah, I was gonna look at ideology. Then. I need to choose an ideology. Well, I did enter the modern era, so I guess it will happen next turn. I don't think I guess it happens that's it. I made a discovery. I'd rather have that. Because more tourism. I think it's already become pretty clear over the course of the past six videos that I'm just trying to rack up that sweet, sweet tourism. If I've got sweet tourism, it all works for me. Come on, Portugal, do your thing. Do your thing, Portugal. Sweet. Basically, I slowly get, you know, a decent amount more delegates than everyone else. That's nice. I can have an ideology. What ideology do I want to pick? That's a military ideology. This ideology seems the best for me because it's about because there's a culture victory type here, and there's a diplomacy victory type, and there's a science victory type. In case I fall back on that one as well, just casually. That's basically going to be what I'm going to pick all the time, isn't it? When I play this game. I'm going to be hard done by to pick autocracy or order. Because those are not things that I value in my Civ 5 games. Which are like military victories. That ain't, that ain't shit I do. Well, I mean, there's nothing else to vote for. You know, we already did this. See, I think this is a special session to choose who leads. Because I got confused in the grand scheme of things. I'm just going to vote for myself, and I probably have the sheer voting power of having three. That I could probably win that one out. There's no city-states for anyone else to rely on for connections. So, it's not like they could do a lot about it. Yep, yeah, definitely going to take more, uh, more free, more great people. I'm not sure why I said free. Ah, uh, yeah, more great people sounds good. Um, capitalism or creative expression sound good to me, but I'll go with creative expression because that shit sounds 
Very, very sensible. The public opinion of each Civ is tracked once that empire adopts an ideology and is calculated based on the outgoing influence of a Civ compared with the influ influence from other Civs with an, an ideology. If the influence pressure for other ideologies exceeds the pressure for the current ideology, public opinion will drift away from content and will create unhappiness. The summary below shows a symbol for each unit of pressure towards an ideology. Well, Polish freedom. Polish freedom is my thing. No one else has an ideology because no one else is that good. Polish freedom is the shit. The shit. If you all don't know that by now, then you don't know the worst of that song either. And the Zulus are just going to hate on me. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. That doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, not at all. But they're kind of wherever the Zulus are at. Forget. They're over in like Europe slash the top of Africa. John. With a city. No, 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 Bamba. So basically, everyone voted for themselves. Oh, fuck nuggets. I voted for Persia. Shit. I didn't fucking mean to do that. God damn it. No, I'm never getting back in. Well, GG'd it. Fucking good job. Good job. Good job, me. GG on fucking up voting for yourself. Didn't even fucking vote for yourself, you vote for someone else, so that someone else gets to be the host. Literally, if you're the host, you can't fuck it up. If you're the host, there are no city-states to vote against you with other people. You can't fuck it up, but I fucked it up. I somehow managed to fuck it up, because I'm just bad. That's gonna bug me. That's gonna get to me. Just a little bit. Well, at least I got some more tourism. At least I can shove Polish freedom in more people's faces. <sighs> it's just the ultimate reaction to the situation here. It's the exact response necessary for the situation of what I just fucking did and screwed up completely. Because boy, oh boy, did I fuck that one up. What a surprise the Zulus have declared war on someone again. I missed when I had three delegates. That was nice. Bye game. Fucking GG. I ain't getting no. I ain't getting host powers again. Mmm. Just sticking my arms in the air now. Fucking that's it. That's my ability to control the World Congress to my personal benefit out of the window completely. All I can do is not vote for things now. Really. I can either propose things and hope for God's sakes that they get through, or just say no to things. And hope for the best in saying no. But look, I got a great musician. Can't put his stuff anywhere. But, you know, 
Voy, Cranny. It's occurred to me that it's probably faster to just go there. Because that counts as Portugal. Portugal basically like set up a city for me to just shove people. So yeah, that works for me. They want to try taking the Falklands. As a British person, I have to pretend to be very touchy about that subject. Because the Falkland Islands. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we can take some open borders. I'm gonna stop humming now. I'm gonna stop humming now. I'm actually gonna commentate on what's going on. Seventy-seven point seven. I feel like that's one of those being extra seven on to be seventy seven point seven seven. Oh look. I'm nearly dominating I'm nearly uh, popular in Arabia. Cause they're really bad at making culture apparently. That's a nice thought. That's the only one I think I really want there. Maybe that one, I guess. Um, I think I'll take capitalism. Maybe we're ever so slightly happier. But yeah, guys, uh, this will be a, this will be shorter in turn time. It's only been 20 turns, but you know, it's been a half an hour video. We've had lots happen, and we've been learning lots about the new features in uh, in Brave New World. That I'm sure if you guys want to play by now, you might have played, or you just wait until the Steam sales again. But yeah, I uh, hope you've enjoyed me completely fucking up my entire Civ 5 game. It's complete GG shit. And yeah, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that shit if that's what you want to do. And I'll see you guys next time for more some uh, some more Civ Five because I can't speak anymore because I fucked it up too bad. So bye.